what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box if y'all can hit that like button for me it definitely sends an energetic donation my way put that good shit out into the universe y'all okay let's see spirit ancestors and guys what is going on within this connection at this time for the collective what is going on with the collective person at this time spirit ancestors and guys what is going on with the collective person we got the eight of pentacles and it came out in the pre-shuffle okay so somebody is definitely working working hard. They're def they could be looking for a job or really just focused on work right now. Okay, um, this person might not have a lot of time for anything else at this time because they're so focused on work and their job. All right. This is also somebody that values you too. This is somebody that wants to be able to spend more time with you and have more time with you. But there could be a lot of things going on in their life or a lot of, a lot of responsibilities um, that they're having to deal with right now. King of Swords and it came out crossways. So the King of Swords is somebody that plays, a, this person, they're very honest in their communication, but the King of Swords also plays a lot of mind games, okay? So even though what they say is very honest and they're being real about it, it the way they tell you, the way they talk to you has you wondering if they're actually being honest because the King of Swords, they hide their feelings you know, they could be 100% in love with you and they could completely act like they don't give a damn, you know, um, that Aquarius energy, you know, just one, just completely hiding their feelings. And so they're considered a game player, you know, you know, this person could tell you they want a relationship, but the way it comes across, like they're so honest, it makes you question if they're really being true. Okay. Also, um, this part, you could be wondering, like, if this person isn't having a lot of time for you right now and you're questioning, like, if they have something else going on, Spirit is saying that they are being honest. They don't have anything else going on. If they're telling you, like, they're working a lot, they're kind of busy right now, this person is um, being honest about that, okay? Aw, the Page of Cups. So this person definitely wants to apologize for not being able to spend a lot of time with you, okay? This person wants to come in and make you some kind of offer, like maybe take you out on a date, um, go out for the weekend because they've been so consumed in work lately and hasn't been able to give you the time that they feel like you deserve, you know? Also, I feel like it's 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 drawing some kind of insecurity in, in you because, you know, this person is working a lot. And so when you, they tell you that they're working a lot, you could feel like, okay, this is just an excuse. You know, um, they have something else going on, but this person really is, they're working their ass off and they feel guilty about it, but it's like some, it's their responsibility. Okay. But this person wants to come in. They want to apologize to you with that page of cups being there. They want to take you out. They want to make you some kind of romantic offer um, to make up for the fact that they've been working so much. Okay. We have seven of swords. Mm. So that's where you definitely feel like this person could be being sneaky. Okay. And being dishonest. You feel like this person has some shady things going on? You could be trying to figure out, like, if this person is lying to you or not, alright? You could be the one that's, like, trying to figure out if this person is really working a lot, if they're being honest. You might ride by their work to see if their car's there. Um... But the six of cups. So there could be a situation here where somebody feels like somebody's dealing with their ex. Okay. And this has somebody feeling very, very insecure. It's almost like this person is telling you that they're working late and that they're working all the time. 
but you kind of might feel like that they're dealing with an ex or maybe a baby mama, maybe somebody that they have kids with, and you could be feeling like they're sneaking over to um, whoever this house is, okay? And if not, you could be the one with kids and them sneaking away, okay, from them from you and the kids but there's definitely a situation here where i feel like somebody is feeling like the excuses of working late is coming from um somebody sneaking around with their ex or somebody that's a past person okay and this person probably might have done this to you in the past okay this person might have cheated on you or snuck around with somebody from the past or an ex or like the child's mom okay and they apologized to you for that and y'all made it right but now because that has happened in the past somebody could have those insecure feelings that this person is saying they're working late and that they're doing this but they're really sneaking back over this way Yeah, three of cups. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, it, they are in love with you. They want to celebrate. This person, you know, the three of cups is not always third party situations and all that. Look it up. The three of cups is celebration. Um, almost coming together. It's something to celebrate, right? I feel like somebody here is really, really scared that this person is going to reconcile with this third party. It's almost like this person has went back and forth between you and this past person quite a bit. So somebody has a lot of fears and a lot of anxiety um, that this person is going to reconcile with their past again. Now, if this person, let me see what's at the bottom, the fool. This person could be being shady and going back and forth, okay, between you and a past person. And they feel guilty about it. Because with the chariot here, it's like they, they're, they're coming back towards you. They want to start over. They want this relationship with you. They really want to try to make this relationship work. They do. They want to make this relationship work. But I feel like there's a lot of fear. There's a lot of anxiety, yeah, about a relationship, a commitment. Let me see. Let's get some clarifiers here. Spirit. And sisters and guys, y'all can't even see it. Y'all gotta tell me, like, Tiff, we can't see that shit, good. Let's see, spirit, ancestors, and guys, for this King of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, this King of Swords that says he's working a lot, spirit, ancestors, and guys, for this King of Swords. energy that says he's working a lot can we get a clarifier spirit ancestors and guys for this king of swords eight of pentacles the four of wands Woo, that's that twin flame energy that 11 11 okay um there could be some kind of committed situation here though um But I feel like this is that mirroring. This is that chaser runner energy, okay? Because it's almost like... You... Let me get one more for this four of wands, spirit. Let me get one more for this four of wands. Yeah, this person has done a lot of thinking, a lot of soul searching. There could have been a time where this person didn't really speak to you a lot here. And it was because they were really trying to figure out what they wanted to do about this past situation. I feel like this person has realized, like, there's definitely a deep soul chemistry between the two of you. This magnetic pull, this magnetic 
um, attraction between the two of you. And they've realized that this connection, it's literally a gift straight from the divine. You know, this was such a magical opportunity. You were such a gift that, that they were given and they took advantage of it. They were unsure, but in all this time of them going back and forth, there's still this situation where they feel this magnetic pull towards you. Like no matter where they're at and what situation they're in, they feel this magnetic towards pull towards you. And that's why it's like they want this. It's like they begged and they prayed. When they shut down and they like, it's like the, they went through that dark night of the soul, right? And they begged and they prayed for another chance with you. They begged the spirit, like spirit guys, God, whatever they believe in, like, please, if I can just have one more chance, I'll make this right. Because they feel like finally they feel like it's your, you're their soulmate. So they want to be honest with you. You know, I feel like this person really wants this, this chance to make it right and to rebuild this trust with you. This page of cups, this apology and an offer spirit, this page of cups. Yeah, this is destiny. The two of you are destined. This is faded. What goes around comes around though. So there was a karmic situation that they had to deal with, that they had to get through. But I feel like definitely when it comes to you and this relationship and them, this is faded. It's destiny. And that's where this apology and this guilt comes in. Because it's like they always knew that you were the one for them. But it's like they were unsure or they let the past cloud their judgment, okay? And now they have realized, like, this is my person. This is who I'm meant to be with. Let's see, the Seven of Swords spirit. The Seven of Swords. Yeah, this Three of Cups again. So there, there's that anxiety about this person um, linking up with this past person, reconciling with this past person. Um somebody is definitely scared and has some fears around this person being shady hey they're playing right in front of my door about this person being shady i feel like there definitely are like whoever these other energies are they definitely are trying to get at your person and want to be with your person they're definitely trying but i feel like your person is at that point where it's like uh -uh, i'm reconciling with my person i want to be with my person and i don't you know the rest of you guys can suck eggs you know like shit get your ass on somewhere but i feel like these these other energies are definitely trying yeah, see, he's ghosting these people. He, fuck that. These people from his past, these exes, the people that he motherfucking that you think he's going back and forth with. Hell no, he's ghosted that person. Done with that person. Hell, he ain't even thinking about that because this person is definitely ready to build this trust with you. He's seeing you for the divine soulmate that you are and he's ready to make it work. Let's see this three of cups spirit. There's the king of swords and the two of cups. See that soulmate energy. And there he is again. This person wants to be honest with you. And I feel like this person is being honest. Like, yeah, there's, I feel like this person might even tell you, yeah, they'd be trying to hit me up. They're being worsome as fuck. But I feel like ultimately this person wants to be with you. This soulmate energy, they are in love with you. And it's going to go from the two of cups to the three of cups, you know, that soulmate intertwining your energies as one into marriage. Didn't I say that that three of cups isn't always motherfucking, um, it, it doesn't always have to be that third party. It goes from the two to the three. You're meeting your soulmate, conjoining those two cups and coming together and celebrating in marriage, happiness. I feel like this this has been a long journey. Whoever this reading's for, it's been a long journey. It's been a tough journey. I feel like ultimately, whoever you're with, you guys are meant to be married at the end of this lifetime. I feel like you, your person has the ability to do the spiritual growth and to learn these lessons. I feel like they have, dealing steadily going back to this past energy who was very shady, okay? I feel like this other energy definitely manipulated your person, okay? And this other energy did not like you at all. Yeah. Here it is. The Queen of Cups. They're coming back towards you because they're in love with you. And they're scared that you're done with them. That you're letting them go. Okay. It could be almost like you don't 
believe look what you don't see is that this is your emperor Ooh, them stepping up them stepping to the plate them saying okay i'm ready to take the motherfucking lead i'm ready to show you what i can be i've done the work i've learned the lessons but somebody here they could be scared you know but they're coming towards you they're coming towards the person that they're in love with they're choosing love with the chariot and the queen of cups they're choosing love they feel comfortable with you they're in love with you that's where they want to be and they're coming to let you know i've stepped up can we do this? Will you give me a chance? Okay? All right. That's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.